an hour, and each time he pulls up into a vertical maneuver doing an MMA. Give these guys away, folks, and maybe we'll get a little of that famous blue angel smoke. Come on, Brandon. Okay. Thank you. Solos will hold short of the runway till the four-plane formation takes off, in which time they will taxi in the position where they will hold. They'll start their takeoff roll as the Blue Angels. The boss, I'm down to two radios right now. I don't advise taking off just at the moment. Smoke on, off brakes, burner now, and when you see the afterburners lit, lit the smoke will disappear. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, they're on the roll from your left to your right. Let's go flying with the Blue Angels. Immediately after liftoff, Blue Angel number four, the airplane closest to you, will call gear up and watch as he slides underneath number two in the position directly behind the lead, the slot. Solos have taken position on the runway. They'll start their takeoff roll at the completion of the loop. Now, 
as our solos perform the Knife Edge Pass. So now they'll make a flat pass coming from your right to your left in the diamond formation. of 800 miles an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left and your right are imposing inverted to inverted rolls. Up we go. extended. As well, they will have extended the landing hook or the arresting hook, and we're going to watch now as Blue Angel number five goes inverted and six flies right side up and alongside of him. Ladies and gentlemen, from your right, Fortis, the mirror image. You can see the landing lights are on, indicating to you that the landing gear is extended. I want you to notice at the uh, tail end of the airplane, the landing hook or resting hook as well. You'll also notice as one of our solos passes by the formation at a much higher rate of speed.
shortly. Please enjoy the Blue Angels' Double Farvel. over center point, watch as they perform a maneuver known as the swallow tail. Each pilot now performing a high G turn will come back and pass over center point at the same time. inches. Ladies and gentlemen, the right echelon parade pass. horizontal rolls. crowd feel the need <laughs> pass we'll find out in just a second from you right now ladies and gentlemen the blue angels Five airplane, line abreast, wet pass. will ask the four plane to form back into the diamond. He'll put the solo in the stinger position and the very shortly he will detach him to set up for his next maneuver. Solo is now positioning themselves to come back towards the center point. Once again, their closing speed at excessive 800 miles an hour. This maneuver known as the four-point hesitation roll. Watch as each pilot rolls his airplane first 90, 180, 270, and then 360 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, from your left and your right, the four-point hesitation roll. Smoke says, I see you, let's do it. Whoa. 270, 
nicht. Each pilot now goes out exactly one and one half miles. At that point, he'll do a course reversal and all four aircraft will come back passing over center point at the same time. Different altitude, of course. This is why it's so important to make sure that we've got those altimeters set right before we taxi out. From your left front, ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angels Burner 270. After burners are selected, now smoke disappears. Here we go. around here like to refer to that as the sound of freedom. A little while ago we saw Brandon pass by us at 700 miles an hour just as slow as it'll go. A really what we call a high alpha pass. Alpha means the angle of attack, the angle the wing makes with the direction the airplane is moving. The high alpha pass or the high angle of attack pass will slow the airplane down to about 120 miles an hour. I want you to notice as they start to recover from this, Blue Angel number six, the airplane closest to us, will light his afterburner, and when he does, he will hang his jet strictly on the power of the engines, flying right on the edge of the airplane. So ladies and gentlemen, coming from your right now, please pay specific attention to the smoke as you watch the blazers perform the dirty flat pass.
Smoke will be coming on very shortly, ladies and gentlemen. From your left front now, the maneuvering Delta. Across center point from the field now, please watch as they perform the Delta flat pass head on. Changed his mind. Well, when you're Blue Angel number one, you can do that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the dirty flat pass once again. Very shortly, you'll see the smoke coming on as the flaps are extended. And once again, pay attention to all the turbulence that's created, as you can see in the smoke as they pass by. Just like all six airplanes were welded together. You know, it's an interesting thing about the Blue Angels, folks. Every year, about the time these guys get really comfortable flying with each other, as they are now, we're approaching the end of the season, we take three guys away and we put three new guys in. This year, we're going to lose Blue Angels number one, number four, and number five. They'll all be new next year. But just yeah, that'll be his point to pass over. Smoke's coming on from your left front, the Delta Breakout. Checklist, making sure you enforce. 
where upon they will join operational squadrons and once again pick up the duties of protecting everything that we love and hold so dearly in this country. And for that, we certainly thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to join us as we salute the 2019 United States Navy and Marine Corps of Blue Angels. It's a rare off weekend for the Blue Angels this weekend, folks, so they're actually going to fly here to NES Pensacola three more times this week. They'll be here tomorrow at 1130, after which they'll have an autograph session inside in the atrium. And they'll saw on Thursday and Friday, once again, 1130 taxi out. Folks, you're invited to join us in the museum, but before you do that, please make sure you've picked up all your trash. And if you rented chairs from us.